Oh my gosh, the gall chatter. One of the quotes that she's most famous for in Nevada is saying that she would quote, uh, like to see her opponent hanging from a fucking crane. Her opponent is the only black statewide elected official in Nevada. So, so she advocated for lynching a, a black attorney general. It's uh, really only gotten more colorful from there. She's pretty equal opportunity with who she hates. You know, she hates a lot of different groups of people. Uh, but one of her her favorite groups to beat up on is is uh, trans folks. Um, and I don't really want to repeat the slurs that she likes to use because um, they're offensive and dark. But she tweets them out a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Um, somebody should get her to log off Twitter. It's not great. It's amazing when I when I look through some of our research documents here at Bridge, how many are just like think crazy things that people have tweeted. And it's like, I, I can't like, you can just log off. You don't have to be tweeting all these like insane takes. You can just log Find off. Find a hobby, learn to knit, go for a jog. So many options. <laughs> One of the other things, you know, that we, we keep talking about with a lot of these people is she's, you know, super, super anti-choice. You know, I was, I was reading that she's called for, you know, a Texas style abortion ban. This is somebody who is out of the mainstream of even right wing Republicans in the state. But again, it's not, you know, voters are not going to know about this unless this information gets out there, unless they really know how nuts this person is and uh, instead of just voting down tickets. So, uh, yeah, there's no question that, again, this is another candidate in the state of Nevada that the more you know or the less you like her. At American Bridge, we're holding Republicans accountable. Subscribe and join the fight.